the cell is the, the basic unit of life. It's miraculous in, in all the things that it does. Over the years to observe microscopically and macroscopically what the cells are able to do, uh, it's, it, it's a miracle. The cell wasn't always Dr. Wentz's instrument of choice. Until college, there was music and the trumpet. Had things gone differently, maybe his toolbox would have been stocked with eighth and sixteenth notes, his workbench a music stand. I had a, a love and passion for music as well as science. It was a hard decision, but yet I knew that my purpose in life was to use my talents to do what I could do to influence the longevity, the health, uh, uh, and the happiness of, of, of people. most important discoveries we made in the in the lab in the human cell culture became aware of uh, what was available, what was being provided in the form of nutritional supplements for humans to augment nutrition to their body. And, and what I realized, how inadequate it was compared to the kind of nutrition that we were supplying to ourselves uh, in culture in the laboratory, that I knew something had to be done, that I needed to do something, and uh, I guess that was the birth of
1998, Dr. Wentz founded another means of spreading health to the world, the Sanaviv Medical Institute. This cutting-edge medical facility combines state-of-the-art medicine with a holistic approach to healing, which empowers the cell's own healing processes. Experienced, internationally trained physicians, nutritionists, psychologists, and fitness experts are committed to treating the mind, body, and soul. As a young man, Wentz had set out on a mission to improve health through the life sciences. By now, countless people across the globe had felt the lasting benefits of his work. In June 2007, he was presented the Albert Einstein Award for Outstanding Achievement in the Life Sciences. The Albert Einstein Award was a great honor for a great man. You know, I've worked with other world-renowned scientists like Dr. Jonas Salk, as well as world-class athletes, Apollo astronauts, and countless Fortune 500 top executives. However, Dr. Myron Wentz may be the most impressive person that I've ever met in my life's journey. This success in science and business has allowed Dr. Wentz to help people lead healthier lives using another instrument, humanitarian aid. Since 2000, he has been involved with Children's Hunger Fund, traveling to impoverished and war-torn areas in Central America, Eastern Europe, and East Africa, making personal financial contributions and turning USANA into a donation engine, generating over $9 million to date to help CHF provide meals to malnourished children. Taste it. Mm, nom, nom. <laughs> the most important thing that I could give to these children is good nutrition. A 2004 visit to northern Uganda deeply impacted Dr. Wentz. On the trip, he spent time walking through refugee camps and saw firsthand the disease and malnutrition that was a reality for thousands of children in the area. We flew over these refugee camps and then landed on a makeshift uh, airstrip and was in the midst of, of this human misery, seeing the quality of life of those families, of men, women, and children, and what they were being subjected to. I knew I had to do something. However small, I knew I had to do something. The Wentz Medical Center in Gaba, Uganda, opened its doors in August 2005. The Wentz-funded center serves a community of 300,000 people using state-of-the-art medical and diagnostic equipment, not just paid for, but hand-picked by Dr. Wentz himself. The relationship with Dr. Wentz has developed into a very special uh, friendship. Uh, I have so grown to appreciate the love and passion that he has. Uh, his vision is to eliminate pain and suffering in this world, and it's been such a joy to partner with him. Not only has he engaged his company, USANA, to work with us, but he's been very involved on a personal level. So his impact has allowed us to do things that uh, we never envisioned. Within a few years, a Wentz Medical Center opened in Cambodia. And as others caught the vision, donations in his honor made the Wentz Medical Center in Malawi a reality. In March 2006, Dr. Wentz was presented with the CHF Children's Champion Award. Medical centers aren't the only things that bear the Wentz name. His other love, music, and a visit to his undergraduate alma mater, North Central College in Naperville, Illinois, prompted him to provide funds that helped build the Wentz Concert Hall and Fine Arts Center. With philanthropic efforts well underway, and USANA now firmly established as a global leader in cellular nutrition, Dr. Wentz was able to shift his role from CEO to chairman of the board. The executive team at USANA was handpicked by Dr. Wentz to carry on his